like what what I find is impressive is like I I naturally have like the neutral like I don't know if people know this like a lot of journalists come from the Midwest because we have the most neutral easy to understand accent dialect like the way okay. I speak. You know, people say I, I speak, on earth. Yeah, the most boring place on earth. People say I speak nasally, which is like a Midwest thing, but I don't think that's true that much. Maybe I'm just blind to my own thing. But I'm impressed by how Kyle, you like trained yourself to speak like a Midwesterner. Like you got rid <laughs> of all not like the, you know, obviously not the Minnesota silly Fargo Midwesterner, but just the neutral. <clears throat> like, did you have to consciously think about yeah. that while you were doing it? Yeah, I, I set these little uh like 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 the way I say little, like like that's not a thing that happens here. No one says little. Mm -hmm. No one says singing. Like no one pronounces any of those 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 parts of the words. No one says white and hits the T on the end. No one hits says white and hits the at the mm -hmm. beginning, like cool whip. Like like that's all sh that that's just an accent that I invented based on like an amalgamation of every like American and the European accent and trying to combine the things that I thought sounded less stupid mm -hmm. because my accent sounded stupid to me. It always sounds so stupid because people that sound like me were the stupid people in movies and TVs. They were the, the mm -hmm. Cletus on like uh, on, on um, Simpsons, uh, Simpsons, you know, it was the buck tooth inbred all oh, shucks character. And so and that was the guy who didn't enunciate. The guy who couldn't pronounce words, the guy who didn't understand words, and the guys, the guy who couldn't finish his words like completely. And so, like, I just made a conscious effort to like get rid of all <laughs> of that long drawn out twang because I had real like mine was more up here like this most of that time. Daddy, daddy, I caught another fish. Daddy, I caught another fish. There's that that's all those videos of me of me like as a kid. That's that's me. Daddy, I caught another fish. What what age were you when you were like, I really don't like the way people that speak like me are portrayed in media. I'm switching. Uh, maybe like fourteen or fifteen, something like that. I started like like definitely working on it, and then like by by like seventeen or eighteen, like it was gone, like like a hundred percent. Because I like. I, because like I had hung around with my dad so much, and his isn't bad. And he actually, I, I he he'll do this thing where like so as not to sound pretentious when he uh, correctly says words like oil, because we don't say oil here, we say all. Earl, yeah. or we don't hit the R. We, we it's just R. It's just R. Uh, my grandparents like, do Earl. It's Tired very Earl. low effort for that word. We it's <laughs> almost like you're you're putting on airs if you if you go through the trouble of saying oil. <laughs> and, 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 did they mispronounce tire also that one tire. really struck i when i was into off-roading we talked about tires a lot yeah and i straight up didn't I couldn't follow the did, conversation did, at first did they give you this tar yeah, yeah. My, my grandparents yeah. would go hey i need a new tar it's tur, and, and it's over a cb radio sometimes which makes it more difficult it's it's all with the pip of their tongue it's tar 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 they're just doing this it's 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 not even a whole syllable it's just a Tur. I don't know what you call that. It's, Need it, it's a new tire. Tur. It's it, it's just a little 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 pump thing they're, they're they're throwing out there. Yeah, there's a lot of words like that. No, I didn't like that. I didn't like how that was portrayed, and uh, and I didn't want to sound like that. Uh, I, so I, I remember be... like uh, when I was a young kid, like not understanding, like like I, I lived in St. Louis, and my grandparents were from the very southernmost tip of Missouri, and so they speak with a southern accent. They always have. And like, I remember like when people would talk about their grandparents when I was like five, six, thinking that like it was, you know how you do as a kid, like you force your archetype of reality onto everything else and try and make it fit. Where I was like, yeah, everybody has their Southern grandparents. And, and that's just the way life goes. Like ev everybody has grandparents who talk a little funny. That's because they're old. And it's like, no idiot. That's because they're not from here. Like you're <laughs> when when your when your friends grandparents come in for field day or whatever and they're speaking normally, you know they're not faking it as I thought. They're they're just not from there. And that was yeah, all the stupid little things you believe as a child and yeah, as and then, an adult. And then I think I don't think I growing up like I don't think I had any I ever I heard any voices that didn't have an accent. You know, like like my dad has one. My whole family did. Uh, everybody that knew did. Um, so like there wasn't any influence that didn't have that real twangy 
uh, draw thing going on. But what I was saying earlier, like my dad will, when he says oil, he will like, uh, he will like make, he'll be like, I'm going to go to the store and pick up some oil. Like, like he'll make, he'll <laughs> make kind of a, he'll make kind of a joke out of like saying it correctly. So as like, not, I, I think subconscious, so, um, subconsciously. So as not to appear that he's putting on any airs in front of anybody, like, like, first of all, we all know it's oil. <laughs> but I'm going to call it oil in case anyone's listening. But I'm going to say it in a jokey way so nobody minds. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, he's tactical. He's, into that word. he's under two layers of irony. <laughs> uh, I, I think he does it subconsciously, but 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 I, I don't know. It, it plays out in my head when he, when he does it. There's a reason he's saying that. Well, one thing uh, that did turn out that was true from when I was a kid, I was like, because I'm sure like people in the South even think like, I don't have the accent. Everybody else has an accent. Mm. Like being from the Midwest, like I was like, no, everybody else has goofy ass accents. I talk normal. And then the older I got, the more I was like, that's true. Yeah. Every everyone in every corner of this country can understand exactly how I speak. You can't say the same from someone from Boston, someone from fucking Jackson, Mississippi or, you know, wherever. I'm good. I'm pretty good at picking up um, like, like, like not just what I mean is, is like I never have an issue understanding what someone's saying. Those uh, West Virginia people, have you seen those clips? They're I've, really I've, hard to understand. Ever traveled in England at all? I've watched no. uh I've watched those um there was a documentary about some some of those people in West Virginia. They were called like the I don't know, it was something But wild. was it was it the Wild Whites of West Virginia? Yep. That's such a good documentary. It's so interesting. Yep. The the White family. Yeah, we've talked about it on this show before. Uh, it's been years now, maybe 4 years ago when we discovered that show. It's it, it's crazy. There are a bunch of like hillbilly criminals essentially mm -hmm. and and like you said they, they're really difficult to understand but if you kind of get in the flow of it it's kind of like when i watch snatch now like i can get like 75 percent of it i can follow along that's probably because i've seen the movie like a bunch yeah of times. i i, I, I mean if i watched snatch i could follow yeah. along with most of it but that's because i've seen it six times I've seen the movie too many times yeah that's true that's true that's true yeah regional accents are weird uh the ones, the ones. What's the, the coolest the, one? What do you think the coolest American accents or or think? just like? Of, of a, uh, let's do America first, because I, I it's because I love my grandparents and I have so I many think, positive memories with them. But I like the Southern accent. The I most. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I th I think that it's a brand of Southern. You need a very particular brand of Southern because you want to avoid all of the the negative things that I laid out, like the the the. the, the I think there's something about male dominance, right? Like when you're like when you're interacting with someone else with that slow cadence and that draw really like portray like if you're in a, a like a power position and you're doing that as well that's just like a extra fuck you so i think there's something in the southern accent for like being like when you're in charge of something or on top mm. of something that that's you just really that you love it because 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 i feel it the opposite i feel that it's a very relaxed accent i, I feel that new yeah. jersey and new york is this sort of it's the cocaine of accents, whereas uh, the southern the southern draw is the marijuana of accents. We're laid back, relaxed. We got like plenty this. of time to talk about what's going on here today. And that New York accent is just yo. We gotta get this thing going on. Right Who here, are right? you concerned it's about? It is really impossible. If you're concerned, you're in at, you're active, you're interacting with it, you're responding to it. You don't give a fuck because you're not at all threatened by this person. That's slow. Just like drawn out, taking your time talking about these things. Your words take fucking forever. It Dude, takes it is hours to annoying. communicate a concept. Dude, like, I, I can hardly listen to a Southerner's story sometimes. It, it takes is like, forever. Oh, it takes fucking forever. And, and, yeah. and if they're not a naturally good storyteller, where maybe they include too much background information or it's, they're winding their way, it gets five times worse with this slow ass Southern thing. Go ahead, Kyle. All right. So. I agree with you. First of all, I agree with you. With me or also, with, with Phil, and, 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 and the best part about uh, <laughs> Woody, excuse me, Woody. I agree with Woody. Woody I agree with you both in, in essence, yeah. like, like just in different and different things. Uh, Woody and I are thinking of the same guy right now. He's a Southern guy we know who's tell who's tell who tells us bad stories. Oh, I I wasn't thinking of him, but now I am. Now you are. <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I, uh, but I, I, but there's uh I was I when you when you brought that up as a Southerner, I immediately start thinking. Who are the great Southern storytellers? And <clears throat> there's this guy named Jerry Clower. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a, a comedian, and uh, his brand of comedy is telling funny stories. Um, yeah. And, and a he common tells... brand. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> like, 
Okay, but but, but he tells stories. <laughs> about... <laughs> You're telling me there's a comedian out there telling funny uh, stories. No, so he and I have a lot of like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tell, telling tales out of school. The, the funny story niche. That's good. There's no competition there. He's that one guy. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But he tells like <laughs> he tells stories about um, these slow, long, drawn out stories about things like coon hunting and uh and, and like like um sick mules and uh it's really funny I, I give it a chance like 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 pull up like jerry clower on youtube and and and, and, and like find the find a story about the sick mule or something like that the mule with colic how do you spell uh, cower so i'm not saying you're wrong i Clower. don't know this guy c-l-o-w-e-r i think it has this is the, to the, the the real quick what the the autofill if you type in jerry clower on youtube is coon hunting story no g <laughs> coon hunting story this is what you get it, what yeah. about what about worldwide accents coolest worldwide accents uh, uh, I, I think australia i i would have gone that way too that's, that's my take. nicole kidman Aust- sounds uh, great on women and men sounds fucking badass me? also fucking funny like if the question is cool then i think australian is it like yeah it, there's it's something a very chill like Whatever, Bri. You it's know, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You do chill, what you do. Yeah, gonna... yeah. Um, it's uh, it, it, it's what it's, accent it's... would a movie villain have? Oh, it's German. Ooh, German, time. German or Russian? It's German. There's a German guy um that I've been playing fucking Chinese uh, games with, and mm-hmm. he came in. He's like, "Yeah, are we going to play a bit of Tarkov, yeah." And I'm just like, "What are you a fucking Bond villain, bro? Is that really your accent? You just <laughs> yeah, that is how we talk here." <laughs> yeah, and in, in, in my lands, this is how we speak. And I'm, I'm like, dude, you're playing it up, right? Like, 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 are you auditioning right now for something? Like, the fuck? But he just sounds like that. He's just, no, he's just there in his fucking his fucking beer fest later hosen. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, I, I, I just, I'm not putting this on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the it's one of the. I met a 73 year old uh, German man who who like was how do you eight, fuck? In Hamburg, oh god, like a fucking stallion. Um, Bluetooth.com. I, <laughs> <get out. laughs> Promo uh, code German. Guy. I, gotta get the lock, I gotta get the lock and load away from Dieter. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> no, but that, but but like his accent wasn't as strong as this 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 young dude I'm playing uh, Tarkov with, and this guy was like he'd been in Germany his whole life, he had been bombed in in Hamburg. Oh, like, he, he sounds like he's just waiting to get fucked up the ass. He was his name was Peter, and he was a Pe- real Peter Peter Eater. <laughs> Peter was an asshole. Peter was always so, so. It was like during like the the middle of I think I don't know who, who Bush was invading, but you know he was doing his thing. Probably one and, of the and, bad guys. Country, and yeah. One of the bad countries. People, the little Iraq and a little Afghanistan. Did we get Gaddafi during that period? As well? Oh no, that was Obama that we got. Okay, I, I give that to Bush. Option, I think. Uh, Bush laid the groundwork down. So yeah, and then yeah, Obama sure. laid the groundwork by destroying no way you're Libya. Playing Tarkov back then, though. Oh, it's true. It's true. I lost my train of thought. You we were, were talking Bush about was... something stupid. And Peter. German guy Tarkov, Bush. Yeah, oh. is, is we were talking about the German oh, he was guy. just super anti-Bush and uh, and and always uh, complaining about how like the Americans bombed his like house in Hamburg, Germany, when he was seven or eight or something. And it was just... he's gonna uh, is he is he ninety years old? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm telling you how old he was. Yeah, I met I met a ninety-eight year old. Named... <laughs> <laughs> First of all, like like. It'd be easy to work out his age because, like, whenever they bombed Hamburger, he was either seven or eight. And like, I worked with this guy in like two thousand. We, we bombed Germany Bomb. after World War Two. <laughs> no, he, he was alive during World War Two. Oh, I, I was joking. I didn't realize that he actually was an old. I'm man. I'm literally talking about he a man who was a child during World War Two. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. People play he was off. seventy fifteen years ago. It doesn't matter anymore. There wasn't even really a story there. I just wanted to say he had a he had a shitty accent that wasn't as strong as this other kid. German is German's a shitty accent. You sound like a fucking villain. Uh yeah, and 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 like I don't know if I've ever heard uh oh yeah. Um I'm thinking of like women with a German accent and it, mm-hmm. it actually being sexy. And all I can come up with is oh, and maybe that's not even German. It's a comical accent. Remember Blazing Saddles, the uh the the lady who does the musical number. <laughs> no. Like, yeah. I'm tired. 
tired of being alone. She's got that whole musical number. Uh, like, like, is that German? The fuck is that? I don't know. The way you were doing it almost sounded like, like well, nebbish, like do Jewish. Do we have a second place? If we all agree a hundred percent that Australia is the best accent for men and women. Yeah. For no, I, I would, I, I would go a second place. I, I like Italy. Italy. Italian accents, but that could be because I had an Italian teacher in college and I thought her accent was very cool. I've never uh, heard a guy with an Italian accent with any sort of regularity, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, so I, when, whenever I think of either Furio from Sopranos, if I'm thinking of a guy with an Italian accent. Yeah, but that, those are Italian American. I mean, like an Italian. No, no, well, he was Italian, Italian. Remember? Oh, Furio. Furio. Yeah, he was. Furio. Yeah. I, I love when like uh, Sal couldn't pronounce his name, like Furio. He's like, Furio, Furio. Same thing. His, um, <laughs> but the, uh, that remember when Tony goes over and meets with like his cousin who, like, like this, her accent was pretty funny. Yeah, that lady. Wow. Yeah. And, and, and like, like when she's, that's what my she, Italian teacher sounded like. Remember when she's eating those shrimps with like her mouth open and those big lips? Uh, like, like it, it should have been disgusting, but it ended up being sexy. I don't remember that scene. I'll I want, take your word for it. Yeah. I'll send it to you later. I've got it. Yeah, send that to me. Send me the shrimp eating scene. It's a gif. It just gonna, goes over I'm and over. beat I, off to it. I know how you feel about Italian women and shellfish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> His weaknesses. These are a few of my favorite things. I don't know what other accents they're like. What do people from Poland sound like? Fuck that. Their um, language is fucking absurd. Have you ever seen something written in Polish? It's like I'd they're uh, trying I'd to make it so hard that no one else can Danish. learn it. Oh, it's like a code. It was like waterboarding. He was like the way he would roll those. It was like it was like what I would sound like if I were trying to breathe through liquid being poured down my throat, and that was oh, Danish. Like literally, like, it's like we don't want anyone else to be able to figure this out. Let's make it hard. <laughs> like, Let's make it code. difficult to pronounce. <laughs> like, That's how I feel about Russian. Like the, the fact that they have their own letters and they yeah. just mix them in with normal letters. What the fuck? The well, none of them are the. It's the Cyrillic alphabet, so they have some that like look like A, or look mm -hmm. like stuff like that. But it's like the A. If it looks like an A, it's an A. The, okay, like, well, then, <laughs> like have you ever seen like uh, the way they say like Russia? Like if you buy like some something from like vodka or something from Russia, it'll say like it. What it looks like in the U.S. in, in English is like pocha, like P a goofy O C C A, but it's a goofy yeah, yeah. A. And yeah. that means Russia. So that P means R. And then the rest is just Russia, I guess. <laughs>